From the Journal of Aframus Longjourney. Pilgrim. With notes by Avos Tor, scholar of Reeve Library. Erev Day, 18th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn. 40th Day in the Trees. I had not expected to find anyone living in this terrible swamp, but today we have found an entire town. The town is called Pella Vepal, and it has over 500 inhabitants. The ones who live here are well suited to their home. They are scaled, as am I, but they look much more like fish, with fins along their sides and back, and webbed hands and feet. They walk upright, but seem much more comfortable in the water. Despite this, they built a number of structures that like the path, hang from the trees. Note, there have always been stories of a town or city in the Swamp Sea, but this is the first I have heard in connection to Pella Vepal, one of the ten towns listed in the Revelwoods Covenant. This would indeed confirm that Swamp Sea is part of the woods, and not a connected world. These buildings are comfortable enough. There is an inn, two other places for meals, and a place for trading. There are also two buildings belonging to a family of creatures unlike the other inhabitants, being furred rather than scaled. The majority of the town, however, is below. At least, that is what they have told us, and I see no reason to doubt their word. They swim from one part of the town to the other. They prefer to live in their homes below, but take their meals on the surface, preferring their food cooked. They grow some sort of foods below, plants and mollusks. These are strange foods, but they do not taste poorly. They say that they can take others down below as well using metal spheres to buildings where they have trapped bubbles of air. Torn wishes to see this, but I am nervous. To have so much water below us is bad enough. To have it surrounding us from all sides? Still, I am curious. I wish to know what sort of buildings they have, and they have promised that many surfaces their term for those who live above the water, have made the descent and that all have returned to breathe air again. I must trust them that I will survive it. We are paying for all of this with Torn's stories and my metalwork. I am not a smith, but my first father taught me enough to be a decent fearbok. The people of this village have kept us both very busy. Torn tells them of things that have happened far away. He is telling them now of a war between two nations, started by, of all things, an animal. Apparently, one of these nations had a very special animal called a bull. The other nation wanted this creature, and they fought over it. It ended in the death of a powerful hero, who in the end fought while tied to a boulder, until he finally expired. Note, Fearbok is roughly equivalent to Tinka, or Faria. The word is actually Triskian, referring to the itinerant metal workers who travel from place to place in search of work. Naturally, the nomadic barrow feel a certain kinship to them, more so than with the usual Triskians they encounter in Nalifron.